Director of Special Projects for REEF, which is REEF Environmental Education Foundation. And we're a, we're a nonprofit organization based in Florida, but we have an office in Seattle and we do work all over uh, the Western Hemisphere. Uh, primarily involving divers and conducting fish surveys and invertebrate surveys in the Pacific Northwest and reporting those sightings into a central database. Uh, I started with the organization when it began back in 1990 and served as executive director for 16 years. And in 2006, an emerging problem came up, this issue of non-native species. And I, I actually stepped down from my position as executive director to focus more time on that. And that's what I've been working on over the last three or four years. I'm a PhD student at Simon Fraser University and I work with um, Isabel Cote in her Tropical Marine Conservation Lab. Um, the focus of my PhD research um, really has been on invasive lionfish, so Indo-Pacific lionfish which are now found in the Caribbean and um, really just what the impact of those fish is on coral reef communities, fish communities in particular. And also a major part of my research has been um, how can we mitigate those impacts? Um, is control a viable option? And what exactly um, can we expect to recover if we do remove lionfish from reefs? So um, I'm about halfway through my PhD studies and I've been spending the last year and a half um, traveling in the Caribbean, doing field work um, mainly in the Bahamas, but also we've just initiated projects in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. And we've been uh, working in close partnership with um, the Reef Environmental Education Foundation, as well as other partners in the US. We work with NOAA, um, the uh, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, um, the USGS, and also just a bunch of regional governments and dive operators as well, because it, it's such a huge issue that it's kind of hard to do this kind of study without a lot of local partners. You know, they, they've got all the characteristics that make a species a very good one to invade new habitats. Really, if you had to design an invasive species, you know, you'd, you'd probably make something pretty close to a lionfish. At the USGS, we keep a database with all non-native aquatic species and their locations where they've been sighted. That sprang out of a need for that information on the freshwater side of things, and that's really how our database got started. So most of it really relates to sort of the continental US and freshwaters and non-native species that live in those, mostly fish. However, we have recently expanded into the marine realm, and that's where I come in. My background is more in the marine arena, so I basically um, keep the records of sightings of non-native marine fishes for the U.S. Um, so that was how um, our lionfish uh, <laughs> database got started, um, as one of several fishes that are non-native, the lionfish is the only one that's established and reproducing. Uh, and we quickly found out that we cannot simply map its occurrences in the United States, although it may have begun there. It quickly spread into uh, the Caribbean, and I just felt like it was important to expand our coverage of the database. Even though we are a federally funded U.S. Um, database, you know, a marine species doesn't really respect those boundaries. So we expanded and now map um, lionfish occurrences throughout the Caribbean.
Caribbean, Central America, and South America.